All right, here we go again. Let's try to finish the rest of it in this video. Um, in this video, I am going over Excel homework continents. I did the first five steps in my previous one, and I am back to finish the rest of them. Step number six says in cell F6, calculate the ratio of Asia continent population to the total population of the world. So Asia to population of the world, Asia to the total world. Okay, um, and then we're going to fill that cell F6 down all the way to F12. Want you to, uh, they want us to format it as percentage with one decimal place. So basically the same thing that we did in step number four, but with population this time. I do want to know the answer to this. So I am in F6 right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in equal sign first. And then I'm going to click on how many people live in Asia. Populations in Asia. So I'll click on E6 and then divide it by the total population, which is down in E, let's see, what number is that? E14. And then, you know, um, if I go ahead and hit enter, which is not complete yet, but I want to show you. If I click enter, it says, wow, 60%. Okay, uh, that's pretty high. So I'm going to go ahead and format it as percentage with one decimal place. Um, so this formula will work for F6, but it's not going to work for all the ones below it. Why? Because what it is going, what it's doing is it's doing relative cell referencing. So this one right here, they're using the North America population divided by this blank cell. Because as we go down one to like say South America, the, 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 what we are dividing by is traveling down, like, and that's not what we want. What we want to do is we want to make sure that we keep on dividing by the total number of people, okay? So double click into that F6, and what you're gonna do is add dollar sign in front of E and dollar sign in front of 14. Watch carefully, this is what F6 should be. E6 divided by dollar sign E, dollar sign 14. This is called absolute cell referencing, and I think this is, this, this is probably, you guys, if you did wind chill Excel homework or other Excel homework, um, a relative, mixed, and absolute cell referencing is something that uh, you probably have seen in other Excel homework. So hit enter, and then we're going to fill this down. Wow, beautiful. So see, like 0%. Who lives in Antarctica, guys? Like 4,490 people. But like compared to the rest of the world, that's like close to 0%, they're saying. Hmm. Wow, Asia must be... Uh, so now I'm wondering the population density, and I'm glad I'm going to go over that uh, in the next couple steps then. All righty, go back to the instructions page. I'm going to go ahead and mark that page, uh, step complete. It wouldn't let me click. So we're done with that one. Step seven, then G6, calculate the population density. So what do we do to find the population density? We divide the number of people who live in that area by the, uh, the area size. People per square kilometer for Asian continent, and then we're gonna just fill it down. Okay, number with one decimal place is the formatting we want. So Asia um, um, divided by the total number, no, 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 by the area. So population density of uh, Asia is what we are trying to find, G6, let's go to G6, right here. So equal sign, how many people live in Asia is that number right there, E6, divided by uh, the land size, um, how big is Asia? and they want you to use the kilometer square, so this box. So I'm doing B6, so I'm doing E6 divided by B6, E6 divided by B6, and they wanted you to format this as number with one decimal place, okay? So about 95 people live per uh, a, a square kilometer, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and copy this down, fill this down, I can see that let me go double click into these cells. I am dividing blue by red by, I'm sorry, blue by red. This one is doing blue by red. That's exactly what we want, right? Because um, unlike dividing by the total number, uh, the constant total number when we were doing the, uh, the percent of total land mass and percent of total population, this time we do want to divide the number of people who live in Antarctica by the, uh, the, the areas uh, of Antarctica. So uh, we are using relative cell referencing this time. So didn't need to add any dollar signs. That is the formula that I typed in G6. E6 divided by B6, and I just formatted it as number with one decimal place, and I filled it down. 
uh, without reading the instruction, I, I know this one will be very similar. So let's take care of H6 to equal sign. How many people live per square miles? In Asia, we have all that many people, and I'm going to divide it by how big um, the land is, which is C6, saved in C6. So E6 divided by C6, hit enter. I'm sure they're asking us to format it the same way. So format as number with one decimal place, and then just copy it straight down, fill it down. Ta-da! I feel bad for Antarctica, guys. Nobody lives there. Of uh, 4,490 people do. Who are these people? All right, so we're done with step number seven, and we are done with, I think, step number eight, too. We just did it. We did both of them. They're exactly the same thing. One was using square kilometer. The other was using square miles. All right, let's look at step nine. In B31, calculate the ratio of Asia continent area in square kilometers to North America continent area in square kilometers. So Asia to North America. So we're going to do Asia divided by North America. Uh, to calculate the other ratio of Asia's statistic to North America statistic in cell C30, H30, we're going to just fill that B31 down uh, across, okay? And we will format them as number with two decimal places. You know, guys, I'm reading it. I'm not really understanding the whole thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do B31, and I will fill it across, okay? And let's see. B31, that's what I'm understanding. B31, where is that? That's B14 all the way down. Ah, okay. So I will do, this is the one they wanted Asia to North America, right? So equal sign, I will do Asia area divided by North America area. And then I hit enter. Let me show you. I did equal sign B6 divided by B8. That's what I did. And now... I'm going to go ahead and format it as number with one decimal place. I think that's what they wanted, right? I forgot. I better go and read it. I forgot what the formatting was. Um, number with two decimal places. Oh, goodness. I almost lost points. Number with two decimal places. Okay, so let me double click into this. I know it's too small for you to see. But you see how I'm doing blue divided by red, Asia divided by North America. So I'm going to fill this table across, and I'm going to get a whole bunch of numbers. So if I click on the second one, um, I'm still doing Asia divided by uh, North America. That's good. Asia divided by North America. Asia divided by North America. That, that's perfect. So um, didn't really need to put any kind of dollar signs uh, because we're not using absolute or mixed cell referencing. So make a note. B31 should be B6 divided by B8, and you just fill it across. Don't forget to format the, uh, format these as exactly how they want it, because that's how you can lose like a little bit of points if you don't format it the way they want it. All right, now let's make some charts, I think. Um, not really. Okay. In cell H35, determine how many times Asia continent land is larger than North America continent land. Enter your number as a whole number. Okay. How big is Asia compared to uh, North America? Let's see. Where is that? Land side. I can look at either area, area or percent of total masses. But you see how these are all saying the same number? 1.79. So what's the whole number? Um, whole number, I'm just going to round it up to two. About two times. Asia is about twice as big as North America. Hmm. I can see this one is going to be how many times um, is, is, is we're going to probably compare the population there. And I can tell population wise, it's seven point. Looks like I have a Zoom meeting starting in about 15 minutes. So I should try to finish it in that time. All right. So the population will be approximately 7.68 times more. So I'm going to go ahead and say about eight times more. And time times as dense. Um, Asia is about four times more dense as North America. And I rounded down this time because it was 4.29 and 4.3. But I should go and check uh, how they wanted these boxes to be rounded. Um, so I'm okay with this one. I entered a number as a whole number. 11 was determine how many times Asia population is larger than North America population. So I said eight times. I said eight times already. All right, H. 
39 determine how many times Amer Asian population. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going over this so quickly because I think my professional account for this screen all cast is expired. So that means I can't record more than however many minutes. So I'm going to try to finish this. This is a long Excel homework. Um, in H9, determine how many times Asia population is dense. So we did that already. So step 10, 11, and 12 is I enter 2, 8, and 4. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to fix these looking at the rule break. Okay? All right, last one, almost the last one. In uh, the blue cell, B16 to I29, want you to insert a pie chart uh, of the continent's population. Okay. So like A62, let me write these down on my piece of paper because I am about to select some range or I'll just take a picture of this range because when I go to the question slide, question page, I don't see this range anymore. So I took a picture of that range. So basically we need to select that much range uh, and then make a pie chart. They said apply style number six and title it all uh, title it blah 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 so i'll come back and change the title let me go ahead and make a pie chart first okay so they did say a6 to a12 first a6 to a12 also oh, the names of the continents a6 to a12 and then i need e6 to e12 holding down my command key e6 to e12 i'm using a macbook so i'm holding down my command key to select these two columns but if you have a windows computer you should probably hold down the control key okay and i'm gonna go to insert um recommend the charts where is it uh, here and then they said a pie chart oh they're right there click on it all right i got the pie chart let me drag this down into this blue area and i want it to fit this area i made it a little bit bigger looking beautiful all right, look at that Asia. I am from an Asian country, so I feel like, hmm. All right, now what? They wanted us to title this somehow, right? So I'm gonna go back. But first of all, oh, I remember, they wanted you to change, them to, change this to design style number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I put my mouse over and wait a little bit, it says style six, I click on it. So this is what it, your graph should look like. Kind of gray-ish. Looking good. All right, now what? Going back to instructions page. Um, they wanted you to replace, okay, apply style six on design tab, add chart title above the chart um, axis title, replace the chart title with population. Okay, that's all uh, we are given. So axis title, um, I see the, the legends here. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the chart title to population. I copied it. Control V or Command V. All right, I got it. I think I'm done with this homework. I think so. I'm going to go ahead and save it, save it, save it, save it. Uh, probably saved it in my download folder. I'm going to go ahead and submit it and see how I did. I'm pretty excited. I haven't done these Excel homeworks in a while. I hope I'm still good. All right, choose the file. All right, going into my, not the exam folder, but in my... Oh, download folder. Oh my goodness, I need to find this. Where is it? Ah, here it is, continents. Open it, and then I will upload it, and then I will submit it. And I close the project, hit OK. I will go back in and see if I get 8 out of 8. If I didn't get 8 out of 8, that would be bad. I did not get eight out of eight, guys. I missed something. So this is, you know, you have the same access. You click on the review, and I lost some points. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look and see what I missed. So everything was perfect. You see when you go into the grade book, uh, you will have, and this is a student account. So you guys should have the same access whenever you're doing your Excel homework for your teacher. And um, my math lab will grade it automatically. And if you lost points, um, you should be able to read what you did wrong and then fix it. I'm going down. Oh, so I lost a point on the pie chart. I thought my chart was perfect. Okay. Uh, data label of pie was not inserted. Hmm? Hmm? Pie chart question layout. I thought I did it. I'm not sure. Um, so they said uh, my pie chart was not perfect. So I lost some points there. 
But to me, 97% is pretty good. So I'm the kind of person who like, okay, I'm done with this homework. But if you want to fix yours, um, this will be a good point uh, for you to take this homework with your instructor, with your uh, professor and definitely talk to them. And if you figure out what I did wrong, if you want to leave me a little comment, that will be great. But I am happy with 97. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. And I will, I have, I have, I have a fac, uh, office hour now. So I have to go to that one. Uh, but I'll try to record the other videos as you are asking asking uh, on the YouTube channel because um, I like doing them. But um, if I don't get to you your comments um, immediately or at all, then I'll just I apologize.